My name is uh, uh, Vivekanand Giri. I am from Juna Khada. And earlier I was a senior software engineer. I have also from Indian Institute of Technology, Roriki. And you joined the Akhada? In 2016. Seven years. Uh, I have come to you uh, after... Uh, see, I have, uh, I have a complaint with you. Okay. <laughs> A lot of people do. See, uh, <laughs> my complaint is that uh, I consider you as a very powerful person because uh, I have made uh, uh, first time a person like you in my life who have uh, written this word that surrender to love. And uh, I really love you very much and uh, uh, I think that uh, the most powerful person in this world. It's uh, great, I think it's all fine, no? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, but, okay, <laughs> okay. But complaint is that uh, you are the most powerful person in this world, but still, why you have not been able to arise the feeling of loving everyone? Oh, are you a Bengali by any chance? Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> This is a typical... The Bengalis will always have such questions. <laughs> they, they think too much, the Bengalis. Why there is... Uh, why there is... Uh, I don't have that power to... Have you, have you got my question? Yeah, why am I not able to awaken that love in everyone? I don't have this power. Then why you have written, surrendered to love? I'm, I'm requesting. Doesn't mean I have the ability to awaken. Oh, no. <laughs> Surrender to love is a statement and it is a statement born out of my own experience. It's not something I've read in a book. It's an experiential thing. What it means is surrendering to the Antar Guru, the Antar Atman, you know, the source of truth, the Antar Atman, Antar Guru. And if a human being is bending to that truth, literally I mean bending, not going with the ahankar, refusing the ahankar, refusing, bending, then that is called surrendering to love. Because the truth, the antar guru, the antar atman, is the source of what pure love is in this world. It doesn't mean that I have the power to awaken that even in one person. I experience it, I speak about it. If a person feels it in their heart, if it resonates, it can awaken something. You understand? Oh, yeah. the, the, the greatest of spiritual masters had 10 people listening to them. Even if 40 people are listening to me, it's a big thing. Because what I'm saying is not easy. How is it easy to do that? When you're living in a world where everyone is moving with the ego as a as a means of living. The ahankar is the way to live for almost the whole world. So when someone says surrender to love, it is a statement born out of an experience. And that's the statement. And if a person like you come along, it resonates for you, you flow with it. Spirituality is not about changing the world. It's religion that is top down. It doesn't work with spirituality. If she today starts to surrender, She'll start to deepen in her love. That one next to her will also a little bit more deepen. And it spreads like that. There was once a, a guru, Indian woman, and she used to talk to these huge audiences and she said, I can raise everybody's kundalini. And she was speaking some mantras and everybody's kundalini was rising. This is not spirituality. Spirituality is when each person goes towards their source and their soul. And there's nobody in this world who, or maybe there are people, but I'm not one of them, who can evoke that in the whole world. It's not possible, I don't have this power. So I'm afraid to disappoint you. But uh, maybe you can start uh, with yourself. My complaint was wrong. My complaint Oh, now was there's wrong. another one, see? <laughs> my complaint was due to lack of knowledge. Actually, I was expecting a lot from you. I was thinking that uh, ah. you are a kind of a person who will just go to the borders of Ukraine and you will say, Putin, stop the war and all... No, I, will, no. I'm not. 
I'm not even able to evoke it in students of mine for 15 years. Where am I going to stop Putin? And I wouldn't want to stop him either. Why should I stop Putin? Because you are a powerful But he's defending his country. Putin is defending his, his uh, structures and... Oh, if you will uh, give your message of love to army officers, so they will surrender to you. And but I don't want to do that. I want people to be able to fight wars if needed. I believe that war is a means of achieving certain things in this world. You know Mahatma Gandhi, he wrote this amazing letters to Hitler. He was, he believed in Ahimsa. He wrote letters to Hitler, dear Hitler, this is not the way and you should do this and you should do that. And Sri Aurobindo contributed money to the British war fund, even though he was fighting the British in India. He contributed money to the war fund. He said, you have to fight the guy and kill him. When the truth says, kill, you kill. I'm not saying people have to kill other people, but war is sometimes required in our world, even today, because certain people are not capable of being taught lessons otherwise. I feel both sides, I don't take sides in that war. I think Putin has his reasons as much as the other guy, uh, Biden, has his reasons. They are both fighting each other, defending their own interests. So I'm certainly not going to go there, and even if I did, I would definitely not succeed. I think you have overestimated me. I think that uh, I must be focusing on your lectures, then I should be putting question to you. Actually, uh, I lack knowledge. Uh, I don't have the knowledge of love. Many people have this idea that a spiritual master is so powerful that they can change the whole world, but they don't understand the power of those people who are against such things also powerful. The Rakshasas and the Devas are equally powerful. Sometimes one side wins, sometimes the other side wins. The Pandavas and the Kauravas are equally powerful. Where does Krishna stand? That side wins. Sometimes it takes centuries, millennia. And sometimes the winds are very small, but they have a big impact, you know? This idea that there is this spiritual master who is the most powerful in the world. That's just ideas in the head. It doesn't exist in reality. It's there is right. not even, there's not even something called God. God is an invention of a human being. Very complex. <laughs> then at least uh, you should write, no, surrender to love and politics. Why you have written for love? Love is a very... But why should I tell people to surrender to politics? No, like, mother, write that surrender to love and politics. But why and politics? Because you have said that uh, if, uh, if someone will be diamond, then you will also be, will become diamond to him. It means that... I said that there are situations in life, or I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing what I said, uh. where war is required because there is no other means that will work. Which is why, if you surrender to love, you yourself will not have to fight that war. That's what I'm saying. You are really uh, very good, excellent. I love you. <laughs> you are right. And if you have any other question, you can always come. If you want to fight with me. The Bengalis and the Malayalis, they always fight with me. <laughs> they love me and they fight with me. I'm not going to put and politics, only love. Surrender to love, that's how it's going to be. <laughs>